We have Sonic the Hedgehog 3 coming out December 20th of this year. Oh, yeah. Um, that, I'm curious to, see, to hear what you've thought, not just about the first Sonic movie, but the second one and what you think about this upcoming adaptation as well. Myself, for me, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 was like my favorite video game adaptation, at least until the Mario movie came out. But it's still, I still hold it super high you know, on my best adaptations list. What do you think about the uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movies? I couldn't be happier with the current state of the Sonic movies. When they first announced the first movie, um, I was hesitant because, you know, they revealed a silhouette of Sonic and he looked weird. Then that trailer came out a few months later and he looked even weirder than he did in that announcement. Uh huh. And honestly, like everyone I know, everyone I knew was texting me, uh, emailing me, sending me Facebook messages with this trailer, like as if I wouldn't have seen it unless they sent it to me. <laughs> and it was getting so much hate. I was already, I was ready to sweep this movie under the rug already. I'm like, you know, we've had, we've had bad Sonic stuff before. We've had bad Sonic games that we just don't talk about. We've had like cartoons like Sonic Underground, which most people don't, don't like to acknowledge. And I also compared it to um, the Michael Bay Ninja Turtle movies where the turtles were just so ugly. It made them right. movies hard to enjoy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, we have the old Ninja Turtle movies. We have the old stuff. We can ignore these new ones. And so I was so ready to write off this movie completely. But then when they did that whole 360 with the design, I was so excited. Uh, I, I went and saw the movie and I admit the Sonic movie is not the best movie ever made. As a matter of fact, it was very generic. It's the same premise we get with a lot of cartoon movies where a cartoon character goes through a portal and ends up on Earth, right? Yeah. Then they go on a wacky road trip with a human. It's the same movie we've seen 10 or 15 times now. True. But it was good enough to where it put Sonic on top of the world and got them what they needed to make a sequel. And just like you, Steven, I hold that sequel in such high regard because then they were able to actually pull in the characters from the games. They were able yes. to pull in the lore from the mm -hmm. games and make something that I feel like is just... It's got to be one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, uh, Jim Carrey. Like, dude, he's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one else for that role. He's, he'll always be my, my Robotnik now. I think it's going to be hard for them to top it with this third movie. So happy that Jim Carrey's coming back because Great. remember after part two, he said he was retiring. I know. I thought That's he was a madman. I, I was like, no, why? He's back. why? <laughs> and the cool thing is, this is the first time Jim Carrey has ever done a part three out of all his movie series. So, so, he, so it must mean he, he at least enjoys playing the role. I know in the second movie, he said to, uh, to the director or to someone, I don't remember who it was exactly, but he said he wanted to go like the full on Robotnik look where it's like, you know, the big fat belly and the beard and the, and the shaved head. And he didn't quite get there in this uh, second movie, but if they got him on for a third and pulled him out of retirement, maybe he's going to get his way this time. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you come out of retirement and do it one more time, we'll let you do the whole thing. He went into retirement to so he could gain some weight. <laughs> Don't do that, please, Jim Carrey. Be healthy, <laughs> Be healthy please. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the um, even in the first movie, he said he wanted to wear a fat suit, but the studio didn't want to pay for the extra time it would take to get him in and out of it every day. <laughs> but I do have a theory for this new movie, because they have already leaked that he did survive, you know, from the second movie, and that uh, his his sidekick, Agent Stone, is the one who's going to find him and nurse him back to health, right? Mm -hmm. And so I, I think while he's healing, maybe he's going to be eating a lot and get really fat. You know, in each movie, his appearance does change, so maybe we will finally get that that nice mm -hmm. egg-shaped Dr. Robotnik. I love that theory. And the that nickname sounds amazing. Eggman. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I was going to jump in and back up a lot of what Matt was saying because, uh, you know, like like him, I was uh, I was ready to boycott this movie to Kingdom Come when they first revealed that that character design. I'm just like, this is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I, you know, please don't try to make it realistic. Like, just just stick with this character design. It doesn't matter, you know, if if it's not realistic because nobody cares about that. They just want no proper representation. Yes. And so. I was sitting there expecting the usual to happen. You know, they don't listen to the fans, the movie bombs, and we all forget about it. I was very pleasantly surprised when they're like, okay, we'll delay it, we'll change this, we'll make it right. 
And uh, and I was like, wow, nobody ever does that. I'm, you know, it, it gained my respect immediately. And I'm like, okay, all right, you put yourself back on the map. I'll, I'll I'll wait and see. And then when they revealed his character design and it was just like it should be, I was like, yep, okay, I'm gonna go see this movie, even if even if it's you know not great, I'm gonna still go see it. And and so I I, I came away really pleased myself. Um, and like I then you know like you said, Matt, it, you know, there's a lot of things I would have done differently with the story, but. The way that they they showed solidarity with the fans and you know ended up making a pretty solid movie and then getting us that sequel which i i also agree i really liked how they expanded and you know actually gave us a sonic story you know rather than a earth with sonic story so i'm i'm looking forward to the third one i i would say of um basically all of the video game to movie adaptations we've had just in the history of, of that not not just recently but sonic 2 and Mario movie, I, I hold, you know, basically at the top of the pinnacle. I think they both did excellent jobs. The only thing I would change about Sonic 2 is that Careful. extended wedding scene. Okay. <laughs> You're right. Okay. Why? Why didn't we have that? <laughs> we have Shadow coming in with Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Uh, Matt, maybe you know, I don't know if anyone's been uh, casted for Shadow yet. Do we know who's been casted for Shadow? The rumor is Hayden Christensen. We don't oh, yeah, know. Right. Oh. Yeah, nothing is confirmed yet, so we don't actually know who it's going to be. But uh, that's what that's what people are saying. One thing that we do know is that a little girl has been cast to be Maria. If anyone's familiar with Shadow's backstory, which is yeah. actually extremely dark, yeah, I do wonder how they're going to adapt that into a family-friendly movie. Agreed. <laughs> so my question is, why on Earth, as a soldier going to space to you know prevent a you know? A, an earth destroying weapon you see a little girl and you're like oh shoot her <laughs> yeah <Hi. laughs> that is a major criticism of the story <laughs> yes uh, the little girl she's the one behind all this <laughs> from, from what i can piece together it's uh it's like you know they're just trying to destroy all evidence of this project ever happening thing um because she's not the only one who they attack they also attack all the scientists who are on the ark Gotcha. They stick everyone okay. down. Well, I need to go back and replay this game. I I played the snot out of it as a kid, but it's been long enough that I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, something else we can talk about is the adaptation of Knuckles, because Knuckles That's is getting his own too. TV show on Paramount Plus. And Wait, Idris Elba, dude, you his voice. I love his voice so much. Uh, <laughs> I'll be there day one. Yeah, absolutely. I uh, I need to figure out a way to get Paramount Plus access because I, I'm I'm here for it. I love Idris Elba and I loved his work as uh, as Knuckles and some of his other stuff. So yeah, that's gonna be a automatic win for me. I didn't even know this existed. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, it's coming that's out in like a few weeks or something, right? Yeah, or oh. streaming series. Yeah, I'm gonna find out when it's coming out. It's really soon. Put it on the night then. Yeah, it's it's coming really soon. So. Personally, I love the way they adapted Knuckles into the second movie. Um, Knuckles is a interesting character because, of course, he did start as a bad guy, a rival for Sonic. Over time, after he became a good guy, Sega really leaned into his gullibility that he can be tricked into fighting Sonic in every game. And then that somehow got adapted into him just being a complete idiot. And so in like the 2010s, Knuckles was just depicted as this klutz, this moron all the time, always saying stupid things. And it was insulting considering, like I told you, it's like Sonic and Knuckles was my favorite game. It was a little insulting that they they had torn this character down so much. But I feel like the movie really brought Knuckles back to his former glory as he is strong. He is smart. He's also gullible. He's he's. I don't know if I want to say he's he's a little arrogant, but also a little ignorant, you know, just just not very experienced with dealing with other people. I, I just felt like they took all these different attributes of Knuckles and put them together into this highly entertaining character, who I think is going to be so fun to watch in his own series now. Absolutely. And it looks so and it looks like they're not they're not sparing any expense. It looks just as good as it did in the movies. Uh, so yeah, I'm 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 all in. I'm all in on this.